Let me tell you guys one thing that's really making New York City feel humiliated. Because New York City has always been known in the U.S. as like the luxury property area, right? You got billionaires and centi millionaires going there to purchase enormous amounts of very expensive condos. And especially back in 2015, you have Billionaires Row, you got like 157, and then you got like 432 Park Avenue, and then you started building Central Park Tower, and then you look at 220 Central Park, and then you head over towards Hudson Yards. I mean, they were like constructing these expensive condos like crazy. But if you guys don't know what's going on in New York City right now, they're facing one of the biggest migrant crises ever. Crime is up, shoplifting is up, and the amount of business savvy people in the area is dropping like a rock. And now we're seeing Miami coming up and literally slap New York City in the face, showing off the most expensive penthouse that is now in contract. A $120 million penthouse will become Miami area's most expensive home. The condo is about 10,000 square feet located at the Shore Club in Miami Beach, and it's in contract. I don't really think they gave the buyer any sort of major discount either, especially when you look at places like Hudson Yards that are offering 50% off. This one is probably very, very high in demand. A lot of rich people probably looked at this penthouse. Also, whoever bought this is definitely going to get bragging rights as you own a $120 million penthouse designed by Robert A.M. Stern, who is typically designing condos in New York City, but he's also going all out in Miami as well. So check out this condo here. Basically, scrolling through this website is making me feel poor. This is one of the craziest buildings I've ever seen and basically screams luxury. This is what it looks like smacking from the beach. This looks amazing. Okay, we don't exactly know what the interiors will look like for this extremely expensive penthouse, but it will consist of almost 8,000 square footage of outdoor space, and it probably will consist like three to four floors. Now, the interior design, we don't know exactly what's going to be popping off, but it's going to be built in 2026, meaning people aren't even going to wait till this building is finished. They automatically put down a deposit for this building. Now, the amenities are crazy, right? You got this incredible looking private residential lobby. You also have amazing amount of green space, panoramic views of Miami Beach. You also have a private residential pool, you know, gyms, spas, probably one of the craziest concierge services ever. And this is basically what it looks like, right? And it's going to be a very boutique condo, only 49 units for only the wealthiest people. In contrast, we have here the Mandarin Oriental residencies at Fifth Avenue in New York City. This is on the same caliber level as the Shore Club, but it's in New York. And by the way, only 13 out of 65 units have been sold, and many of the most expensive units are not selling. This is a ultra luxury unit with views of Central Park, and you're on Fifth Ave. This is by far the best place in Manhattan to buy right now. And the most expensive one has the penthouses or the three to four bedrooms sold yet? Not really. Nobody really wants to spend money in New York City anymore. The studios here start off at $3.8 million, which is crazy. The one bedrooms are about $7 million starting price. Not a lot of people are buying these, right? Now, the short club is very, very quiet about how many units they sell. But if someone's already buying a $120 million penthouse, I wouldn't be surprised if most of it is already sold out. And many places like Miami, Singapore, you know, Sydney, Australia, for example, super high in demand condo buildings easily sell out. This was actually the same case for New York City. Units like these back in 2015 easily sold out. People actually will fight you for one of these condos. Like if you remember 157, that building I talked about earlier in the video, people went nutso for that building. And now we're seeing so many vacant units in New York City with many of them, for example, offering 50% off discounts. Nobody wants it. And look at this, New York City population is shrinking. And the most recent consensus for data, it came out and dropped 78,000 people. New York City has so far in the past four to five years dropped by 570,000 people, seven to 8% of its total population with the amount of billionaires moving out at one of the fastest paces and the amount of uber rich individuals, which is anyone over $30 million net worth, they're all leaving New York City for better places. Nobody really wants to stay here anymore. And plus, Miami is now known as a pretty amazing hub for finance. Miami area dubbed Wall Street South to get its first trading floor. And it will be having its very full 
and very first National Securities Exchange. It's very symbolic. And like I said, there's so many buildings in Miami that's making New York City very nervous. And one of them is this building, and another one is gonna be the Shore Club building. I know this is for the ultra wealthy, but it shows you that people are no longer considered New York City as a top destination for high-end real estate. People are going to Miami and they're willing to spend $120 million on a penthouse, something that nobody would have thought before because I remember back a decade ago, Miami penthouses at $15, $20 million was a very, very high and very ludicrous price. But now we're seeing sales of luxury condo buildings and prices higher than that than New York City. This is wild. In the next few decades, we could be seeing Miami replacing New York City as a top financial hub. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.